In this video, we'll be installing the blower motor resistor on this 2007 Mazda CX-9. It's going to be located behind your glove box. It's going to be the same for the first generation from 2007 to 2015. We're going to start off by opening our glove box. Now typically there would be a piston down at this side here. Our piston is actually broke, but you would take a tool and pop that off the little knob that's down the bottom. So we're going to move our piston up out of the way for now. The next step is going to be empty your glove box. And you'll find a door in the back. There's two little push tabs, one on each side. Go ahead and push those down and you can remove that door. Gives you access to a fuse panel as well as behind here in this area, your cabin air filter access. So now for a little bit more access, if you decide to, we could take a panel tool or your hands if you decide. And we're just gonna pry in right about here. There's a couple of locking tabs on the top corner of your glove box. We're gonna pop those in. You do it on both sides, left and right. And now our glove box is free to swing all the way down, but it's going to get stopped at a certain point. What we can do from here is pull towards us and remove our glove box. There are a couple of notches here. And we just remove them from those pegs. So we can now put our glove box aside. And we have plenty of access. So now to gain access to our blower motor resistor, we have to move this fuse box. Now the fuse box is clipped into this metal bracket. Ours just actually happened to push back. But typically you'd have to come in with a little bit of a pry, push this tab open, and push your fuse box back and out of the way. And there's the tab. It locks it into that metal bracket. And once you have your fuse box out of the way, you now have access to your blower motor resistor. Back here you have a plug on top and two seven millimeter screws. So what we're gonna do is actually take out our two seven millimeter screws first. So there's one screw. And the other. Now what we can do is raise up and take out our blower motor resistor and we have easier access to unplug it. Now I'm just going to use a little panel tool here to pry open that clip and pull our plug out. So now to install our blower motor resistor, what we're going to do is plug in our connector. And then drop in our resistor into place. take our two seven millimeter screws. We're going to start them by hand. You are threading into plastic. You want to be careful not to cross thread or over tighten. And then we can go ahead and snug them up.
Once you have your blower motor resistor tightened down, we can go ahead and connect back up our fuse box. Once you get the channels lined up for the metal bracket, you just go ahead and pull forward until it clicks into place. Now we can continue putting our glove box back on. So now we can go ahead and put our glove box door back on. We have two areas at the bottom that need to lock in to these pins or these poles. All right, so we're going to align those first. Now sometimes what helps to align these bottom pins is if you want to, you can pop this bottom piece off. It'll give you a little bit more room to align these bottom pins and just push in. Once you have those pins aligned, we can just go ahead and close our glove box about three quarters of the way. Want to see if it is going to line up okay. Looks like it's going to be good, so we can go ahead and drop it down. It will now stay in on those locks. From here, we're going to put our little access door back in place. It's going to go in with these two tabs on the bottom first. And we're just going to push it up and lock the two tabs on the top. Now from here, we also have a piston on this side of our glove box on the bottom portion. The piston is actually broken, but at this point, if yours wasn't, you would want to lock it onto that pin. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and put your stuff back in your glove box. Close your glove box. If you've removed this bottom piece, you can go ahead and reinstall that now. Just going to line up this center pin. If your back has come out of place, go ahead and line this up. There'll be a slot under there that you're going to feed this into first. Lift it up. Go ahead, push it into place. And you're done. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.